Originally designated as a trim level for Cadillacs, starting specifically with the 1949 Series 62 cars, the name DeVille became synonymous with the Cadillac brand and ultimately ended up as its own model designation. Used over a span of eight generations from model years 1959 to 2005, the DeVille nameplate was reserved for the full-size Cadillacs. In 2006, Cadillac decided to retire the DeVille name and ultimately all of their car names in favor of letter nomenclature to align with the ATS, the CTS, and the STS, thus becoming, creatively enough, the DTS. Our DeVille represents the eighth and final generation of DeVille cars, which was introduced in 1999 for the 2000 model year. The 2000 model year was the first substantial redesign since 1994, making the then DeVille's move to the revised G platform. Built at the Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Center in Detroit, Michigan, our car was produced in May of 2002. The final DeVille rolled off the assembly line in June of 2005, making way for the de facto 9th generation DTS. Hey everyone, in today's in-depth walk around review, I am proud to present this absolutely gorgeous, nicely surviving 2002 Cadillac DeVille. The DeVille was based on three trims. You had the DeVille, DHS, and DTS. We just have the base DeVille. It is painted in bronze mist metallic, features the neutral shale leather interior, it does have some options, so it's full pricing is shown on screen and a full options list is in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. This is a full in-depth review. We're gonna cover everything from the exterior to the interior. We're gonna cover all the dimensions, cargo capacity, fuel economy, mechanical, and everything in between. Being a base level DeVille, our car is, as all DeVilles, front wheel drive with its power coming from a slightly detuned variant of the 4.6 liter North Star dual overhead cam 32 valve V8 engine. This is the LD8 North Star with aluminum block and head construction, electronic sequential multiport fuel injection, and a 10.0 to 1 compression ratio. This engine creates 275 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 300 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. The standard DeVille can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8 seconds with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time coming in at 18.7 seconds. The DeVille hits a quarter mile in 15.3 seconds at 94 miles per hour. Top speed is electronically limited to 112. The DeVille is equipped with an 18.5 U.S. gallon fuel capacity and consumes 5.3 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 370 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 16 miles per gallon in the city, 25 miles per gallon on the highway, and a combined average of 19 miles per gallon. The sole available transmission is an electronically controlled 4-speed 4T ADE turbo hydromatic automatic transmission. As we walk around the rear of the DeVille, it's a very stately car. Designed by Wayne Cherry and assembled at the Hamtramck assembly plant. All right, taking a look around the rear of the DeVille. A little bit more in depth look at the back end of the car. As stated before, it is a highly chiseled area back here. Lots of sharp edges. does feature that classic roof line comes down integral drip rails for the rain distribution going down into this really nicely flowing pillar back here that lands into these uh then state-of-the-art led tail lamps and turn indicators um first time it was ever offered on a cadillac vehicle and i think on a production car
you got your 32 valve North Star V8 badging here. Third LED brake light back here. You got the Cadillac wreath and crest. Nice chrome uh, trim around the license plate frame with your clear reverse lamps. And of course your DeVille badge. Now this vehicle does have an option package that includes the ultrasonic parking sensors. Of course the vehicle is also equipped with a full stainless steel exhaust and this one has quad tips. As we walk along the profile of the vehicle, you'll see the nice chiseled edges harken back to the older DeVilles in a more modern appearance. As you can see from the dimensions, this is a very large car. However, however, outwardly, it does not appear that way. The way the car is designed, it doesn't appear as large as it actually is. Steering is the Magnus steer, magneto rheologically at variable rate, vehicle speed sensitive, rack and pinion with a 40.2 foot turning radius. Wheels on this car are 16 by 7 inches, polished aluminums, and they are shot in 225-60 R16 Le Mans Touring All Season Tires. Brakes are power assisted ventilated four wheel disc brakes assisted by a Delco Bosch 5.3 anti lock brake with full range Stabila Track 2.0 computer control stability enhancement system. Coming around the front of the vehicle, as you can see, it's just a base car. Doesn't have any of the DHS or DTS luxury uh, finishings, no fog lights or anything like that. However, we do have a nice hood ornament, chrome grill. All right, taking a look around the front of the DeVille, even though it's in its eighth generation, it still looks very classically a DeVille. You know exactly what you're looking at. Albeit it's a much more modern appearance. Part of the redesign included having these much more uh, formed up uh, door trim wrapped into the roof line for a more aerodynamic appearance. Fold away body color mirrors. And of course the hood goes all the way into the new composite clear lens headlamps. These are just standard uh, halogen headlamps. Got your turn indicators. And of course when the turn signals are on, this vehicle does feature cornering lamps. Despite what this little cut line shows here, the hood actually opens up with the grill intact. And of course we have our Cadillac wreath and crest hood ornament here. And then the 2002 Cadillac 100 years of innovation badge. Now one feature that was not available on the DeVille but was optional on the DHS and the DTS was the uh, IQ night vision heads up display. This vehicle does not have that, but it was one. Of, it was the first of its kind in the automotive industry. Now this car does not have smart key access system, but we do have GM's keyless remote entry. I'm gonna go over the key fob real quick. We have lock, unlock, trunk release, and our horn. It's a panic alarm. And then of course we have a GM key with the Cadillac wreath and crest. Car is already unlocked, so we'll go ahead and hop on in. And the first thing that you see is just a very gorgeous interior, very nicely crafted. It's a two-tone light shale and neutral shale interior. Darker features on top, lighter features on the bottom. Taking a look at the door trim here. Most of it's the darker trim. We do have genuine Zebrano wood, two driver memory with easy exit, set button, nice sculpted chrome door poles power locks, power heated mirrors, power windows, power window lockout, and our heated seat controls. Nice soft touch materials abound all the way down the door panels. We do have nice storage pockets and our speaker system. Driver's side instrument panel features a plethora of buttons. We have English metric conversions, display mode, trip reset, all for the uh, digital display. Headlamp control, we do have automatic headlamps as well. Trunk release, fuel door release, instrument panel brightness and dim. Down in the footwell, of course, we just have a gas and brake pedal, floor mounted emergency brake, hood release right here. 
And of course we do have a leather wrap tilt steering wheel. In addition, we do have multifunction seat controls, eight way power seats for the front driver and passenger, seat back recline, move the seat cushions up and down, fore and aft, four way lumbar supports. We have the interesting two point uh, or three point belts with the uh, two mounting areas. And of course, this car is equipped with the uh, bench seat. So we'd have twin adjustable bucket seats, as you can see. And we have that stationary third portion here. And you can actually lift up the armrest here. It creates a third seat. And it does have a lap belt. More on that. Just a quick look at the seats. They're very comfortable, very supportive. And the leather has held up very nicely over time. All right, we're inside. We're gonna pan through the interior. We're gonna show more details. As you can see here, nice fluidic, easy to use power assisted steering, of course. On a leather wrap, four spoke Cadillac steering wheel. Has the Cadillac wreath and crest emblazoned in the uh, airbag cover here. Of course, it also has the horn. And of course, we've also got multifunction controls here. Climate controls here for temperature. You have your voice command controls, uh, in calls, cruise controls down here, on and off on the left-hand side resume accelerate and set and coast on the right hand side and we have our volume controls and our select controls typical g and multifunction stock control features our turn signals flash to pass high beams wiper washer controls and of course we have a column mounted shifter taking a look at the instrument cluster of course it is just a digital display it does not have analog uh, gauges but it does have a lot of information in the information center here we're gonna go over all that information here in just a minute. And of course we have our coolant temperature and our odometer. At the time of this recording, we have 57,075 miles on it. In the center, of course, we have our speedometer and our Prindle display. And over on the right-hand side, we have our fuel, fuel gauge and our fuel economy. As you can see here, we do have our info uh, select, info reset, and our off and on button. Traction control. And moving down the center of the dash here, we have hazards. We have our climate control vents, climate control up here. We have our primary temperature display here. Of course, it, digital readout shows temperature readouts all the way to 80 degree or 90 degrees and as low as 60. You can push to turn the system off. Front and rear defrosters, panel distribution here. Also got fan speed control here. Recirculate, AC, automatic climate control, passenger off, outside in, uh, temperature indicator, and our passenger temperature controller. It's hard to see, but the blue segments show how cold it is. Moving down, in lieu of Cadillac's radio, we do have just a Pioneer aftermarket system with a USB port. We've also got uh, headphone jack, CD player, and I believe it's also Bluetooth connectivity, but it does give us some additional storage here. Down below, we have a cigar lighter and ashtray. And looking at the center console here, we do have a fold down armrest. It does open up to reveal some storage and a coin holder. Now, of course, this does slide up to reveal a seat cushion here. This portion opens up to reveal additional storage and the lap belt. And the cup holders reside in this panel here. Pretty nifty. Overall, I think the interior of the DeVille is actually a really well thought out vehicle. It's a very comfortable place to be, very quiet. It's a very smooth riding car. And overhead, we do have an automatic dimming rear view mirror. It is OnStar equipped, so we have OnStar capabilities. We also got SOS. It also features a compass in the display. We do have overhead map lights, however, um, they are burned out. Three channel home link universal garage door opener. Cloth headlining all the way down the A pillars. We do have dual sun visors as well. The sun visors are illuminated, however, the bulbs, of course, are burned out as well. And the sun visors do swing out and they slide out on extension rails. We've also got a secondary sun visor as well, a feature I feel like every car should have. 
And we've also got fixed in place overhead assist handles. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat now. As one would expect, humongously wide opening rear doors. Feature uh, open up to a cavernous interior. Tons of head and leg room. Taking a look at the door panels back here, they have the same as the Brano wood trim, soft touch materials, two-tone treatment. Outboard seats are heated, back only and heat uh, for the cushion, back only windows. You've also got your cigar and ashtray lighter back here, power lock switch back here, same door pulls, a small amount of storage, door speakers. And of course, the seats do seat three across back here. They do not fold, they're fixed in place. They have integrated head restraints in all the passenger seating areas. And of course, three point seat belts. And overhead, we do have overhead lighting, overhead coat hooks, grab handles, rear lighting uh, indicators for your brake lights. We've also got a pull down, fold down center armrest. It opens up to reveal a nice amount of storage and these nifty pop out cup holders. Because the seat backs do not fold, they, we do have a pass-through. It's nice to have. And the backs of the seats do have cutouts for additional knee room. They've also got seat back mat pockets. We've got rear climate controls here. And as you can see in the display, it's kind of dim, but we do have panel distribution controls, fan speed controls, temperature controls. It's really nice to have those features back here in the back seat. Alright, as stated before, there are several ways to open the trunk lid. First and easiest way is just by pressing and holding the trunk release button here on the driver's side instrument panel. The second way is to go in old school to stick in the key in the keyhole and turn it to the uh, right. That'll unlatch the trunk. Or we could just press and hold the trunk release button. And the trunk pops right open. One nice feature of first all hidden hinges so they don't crush any kind of luggage and it is fully lined and fully carpeted as you can see it is an absolutely massive trunk has this nice all-weather floor mat this cargo divider net electronic fuel door release here some storage tie down hooks more storage over here just an overall really nice huge cargo area now closing the lift or the trunk lid is really easy. You just close it the old fashioned way.
And there you have it, a full in-depth walk around review of this beautiful 2002 Cadillac DeVille. A once almost $50,000 car, now reduced to about eight grand. We hope you found the review informative and if you did, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and our Instagram channel at brinsoj one We're also on TikTok at the same name. As always, thanks for watching.